My name is Usman J. Salami. And I am a facilitator for SOC 305, which is political sociology. Political sociology is a core course in sociology. And it is a three credit unit course. As this is the first class we are having, it is very important that we all know that we will be guided by certain rules. We are meant to understand, or we ought to understand that distractions won't be allowed in our classes because we want to maintain focus. Where you are asked to be examined where you are having your CAs, you are also not allowed to copy and you are also supposed to follow the instructions that you will be saying in your general information. Now, straight to our course. At the course of our study, we will be starting with the introductions, the meaning of political sociology, the subject matter and scope of development, approaches to the study of political sociology. Now, as we are looking at political sociology as a concept, we know that these concepts are derived from two words, which is political and sociology. It is very important that we understand how they are formed. Politics, according to Harold Laswell, he defined politics as who gets what, when, and how. Who gets what, when, and how. David Easton also defined politics as the authoritative allocation of values. You know, politics, by definition of who gets what, when, and how. It has also been defined by Mao Zedong, who is popularly referred to as Chairman Mao, as war without bloodshed. It's about interest. It's about choice. When you are having situations where you have to make choice, where you have conflicting interest. Who say that politics is in play? So, it is important that we know that politics is about interest. When you hear that it's war without bloodshed, according to Chaman Mao, it's simply, he is simply referring to the struggles, the inner struggles even that you have. Another form of struggle, it, it, it's just like war without bloodshed because you have struggling within yourselves to make choice to make before you you arrive at a decision the interest that arises now in looking at sociology as a concept sociology according to august Comte, has been defined as a scientific study of the society and in the same vein, Max Weber defines sociology as the social facts of collective behavior. So, this is sociology as the scientific study of the society and the study of social facts of collective behavior. Having armed ourselves with the definitions of politics and that of sociology, we will now move into political sociology as a discipline or as a field now. Political sociology is an offshoot of sociology because you have seen that sociology is a scientific study of the society. And you have also been told, you have seen that politics is about interest, it's about allocations of value which, is, which are all within the society. So, 
Bearing that in mind, we know that political sociology, now as an offshoot, will be having interest in the areas of politics, in the areas of allocations of values. We know now that it has to do with interest of political actors, political behaviors, political interactions, and what have you. So, we'll be moving to the concerns now of political sociology as a study. Political sociology is thereby con is hereby concerned with the interest with with the interest the role of politics in our lives. Everything we do that has to do with politics in our lives hereby is now the concern of political sociology. Political sociology also is concerned with the interactions between politics and society. Because as the definitions that we debuted up to the, this discussion, we are now aware that it's about authoritative, authoritative allocations of values, which is politics. And sociology itself it's about, is a scientific study of the society. So the concerns of political sociology is about the role of politics in our lives and the interactions between politics and the society. So, there are other concerns of political sociology, of course, which are political, the study of political organizations and civic participations, political socialization in our society, how people acquire the information, the political lessons, how. Political culture is also a concern of political sociology. Voting behaviors. These are concerns of political sociology. Also, political actions, party systems, social movements, political participations. These are all concerns of political sociology as a discipline. So as an offshoot of sociology, political sociology are concerned with the political behaviors, political actions, they are concerned with political culture, political socialization. They are concerned with the role of politics in our lives. So these are very important concerns because we know that our daily lives, we have interactions with ourselves. So political sociology is focused towards understanding how we interrelate and the motives, how movements are formed, the emergence of such movements, the actions and inactions of political actors in the society. So we have, we will look at the approach to the study of political sociology and we are going to be concerned with three approaches to the study of political sociology that of Max Weber, that of Seymour Lipset and Stein Rokan, and that of the Western Marxists. These approaches, we have seen the concerns of political sociology, that political sociologists are in, in, interested or they are concerned with Understanding political behaviors, political actions, and what have you. These approaches are the build up to the study of political sociology. That of Max Weber, that of Seymour Lipset and Stein Rokan, and the third approach, which is that of the Western Marxist. Max Weber, who is or who can be best referred to as the founder of political sociology, he laid the foundation to the study or to political sociology, the study of political sociology. In his approach, he laid the foundation by first of all isolating political actions. His concern were 
that of isolating political actions, which these actions and the isolation of these political actions was what developed to the study of the subfield of political sociology. It's about the actions, his areas were about the actions. These actions include actions and activities of political leaders or political actors, social movements, and other groups, their decisions, their activities in general. He is concerned about the actions of political actors, the, the leaders, the voters, and all who have roles to play in politics. But his central focus is about the actions of these political actors. So that is the first foundation to the study of political sociology. That is the first approach. And the second approach, which is that of Stein, Seymour, Lipset, and Stein Rokan, was concerned about the institutions. This approach emerged in the 1960s, and their main focus is about the institutions. They were concerned about government institutions, or the institutions, which are the legislatures, the executives, the judiciaries, and the roles that these institutions play in politics, in our lives. Since political sociology is concerned about the role of politics in our lives, so Seymour Lipset and Stan Rokan was concerned about the role of institutions, as mentioned, which is the government institutions, agencies, and other established institutions, the role those institutions play in our lives, are the main focus of Seymour Lipset and that of Seymour Lipset and Stein Rokan, which is an approach. This is a, these are the approaches that emerged in the 1960s. So their main focus was about the institution. Now, we know that institutions play major roles in our life, in our political lives, in our social lives, even till date. Elections will be held. And after elections, you know that institutions are involved in holding elect elections. Institutions are involved in interpreting how elections, what happens in elections. You have structures, you have bodies who are saddled with these responsibilities of maintaining these processes. So these are the approaches of this institutional approach was what Stain, um, Seymour Lipset and Stain Rokan brought into the study of political sociology. Now, the third approach is that of the Western Marxists. The Western Marxists actually introduced the issue of political theory and of the state and that of political research. So their approach can be termed as academic. They were focused about the theories of the states and researches, political related researches. These are the approaches, the Western Marxist approach. This is what their introduction or their approach brought into political sociology. And you know, having discussed the role of actions of political actors and looking at institutions, then this third rule of the Western masses is about the academic rule, which is concerned with political theory and that of the political research to political sociology. Now, having understood these approaches and looking at the concepts, we will look at related disciplines. Political sociology as a discipline has is related to other disciplines in so many ways. Looking at political sociology in relation to political science as a discipline or sub-discipline in sociology that is concerned with the study or the role of political, the, the role of politics in our lives. It is concerned about governance, it is concerned about uh, structures, roles of agencies that are saddled with responsibilities to lead. It is concerned about behaviors, voting behaviors. It is concerned about court, political cultures. So 
these are all areas of concerns with political science too. Because political science as a discipline is interested in these areas that political sociology is, is having as concerns. Now, with the economics, political sociology is interrelated with, is also having relations with economics as a discipline because it is concerned with the economy of the state and co also concerned with the decisions, the policies that the, the political actors also in initiates. So, as a sub-discipline in sociology, political sociology is related to economics too because policies are products of political actors, political leaders. They initiate policies, they implement policies that affect the lives of people. And so how these things are done are also concerns. So political sociology as a subdiscipline is related to economics in that regards. And also to social psychology. Political sociology is also related to political uh, social psychology because they are interested in understanding behaviors. If political sociology are concerned with voters' behavior, political socialization, political cultures, that brings them to close relations with psychology, social psychology, because psychology is, is about the study of behaviors and the ways of humans, why humans behave the way they do. So if political sociologists are interested in studying political behaviors of political actors, then it's as good as taking a bit of the role of political uh, social psychologists who are also interested in the factors that make people behave the way they do. Because as a social psychologist, they want to know why voters probably vote the way they do, what formed behaviors, why are people behaving the way that they are doing. So, we have been able to discuss political sociology, we've been able to discuss um, political sociology as we are discussing it, we actually brought it up from the point of conceptualizing political sociology as a concept by first of all defining politics. And we say politics according to Harold Laswell is, is about who gets what, when and how. And we also define that political, we define politics as defined by David Easton as the authoritative allocations of values. So from there we actually move to the approach we define political sociology and the areas of concerns that we are still dwelling in. So as it is, due to the nature of political sociology as a discipline, it employs techniques and tools of social research in conducting their activities. It is about studying behavior, it's about studying the way politics affects our lives, the role of politics in our lives. So it does this as a social science and it employs all the tools of social science and social science research in arriving at the answers and conclusions it gets from the findings. So thank you.